I don't want an art history degree anyway. It was bugged and I had to restart and re-enroll her. And unfortunately, I accidentally got an art history degree for some reason after that instead of the computer science one. So we do not need that. Hi, this is Charity and welcome back to the Lucid Legacy Challenge, a challenge in The Sims 4 written by the Lucid Simmer. A link to the rules will be in the description as well as a link to the challenge's creator, the Lucid Simmer. Now I forgot that May can actually go to university and I wish I had thought about this sooner. So we're going to have her graduate early and join the eSports career. She doesn't need to get a degree, but we can have her join the eSports career and actually jumpstart to be an eSports gamer in the tech career without having to do very much programming. So I'm just going to apply for all the scholarships and we won't get to go to graduation, but I don't think that May really cares about that. We're also going to go to lifestyle coaching because unfortunately our lifestyles are completely full and we need to have the techie lifestyle. So we need to get rid of people person and single and loving it. And then maybe we'll get the techie lifestyle like we're supposed to. Now, unfortunately, it is Sunday and we can't get the university application back or the scholarship applications back until Monday when our mail is delivered. So we'll just have to wait on that and we will lose a couple of days, but that's okay. In the meantime, we'll work on our video game again. Time for a coffee break. And this video game is going to be called Aliens vs. Zombies. Now, the reason why I want to join the eSports gaming career is because it seems like the side hustle video live streaming doesn't earn any money. I mean, I guess because I don't have very many followers, it's not earning money, but I think I should be earning something by now, at least one simoleon, and I haven't seen any tips at all. See, I gain followers, when I do a live stream, but I didn't get any simoleons. And I supposedly have 649 streamer followers. Uh, and it says having more followers will lead to higher tips. It doesn't necessarily mean more often tips. So I'm not sure if that is working or if it's just bugged in my game, maybe because of a mod. Third place in the video game tournament. Okay, that's not bad. Now that May is in an apartment setting, I think what I'm going to do is never have her repair anything because it's not that realistic. So she's going to call the property owner each time and ask that they repair the object. What, there's a fire? Well, that's not good. She will, however, help with fires because I don't like fires. And she can't extinguish the microwave one because for some reason the cabinet or something's in the way. I don't know. Well, that's annoying. And the firefighters are no help. Someone come extinguish this fire. Come on, guys. What if I move the microwave? <laughs> Does that help? Not really. Finally, I got it. I guess the microwave is not burnt. Interesting. Now, typically when something is burnt out like this, if you replace it, you're using your own funds and there's no way I'm replacing that. So what I have found is that if you ask the property owner to inspect it, sometimes they will go ahead and replace it and sometimes they won't. It's kind of random. Okay, I think he was repairing this dryer, yeah. It's repaired though, you don't need to repair it again. Oh, and he went away, great, I have to call them back. Okay, let's see if this works. It did, okay, so he replaced the stove. I don't know why it sometimes works and sometimes doesn't work. Yeah, video games are just not very profitable. I think I got like 1400 at first and now I'm getting royalties of 127. Eh, it's not that good. It takes way too long to make. Now that the stove is repaired, we'll make some brownies for the spring festival. Oh, fire again. Did you start a fire, May? Oh no, she's just very tense. Okay. Okay, I'm not sure why the property owner is here for a visit, but we'll invite her in. 
All right, the mail is here. And we got the eSports scholarship, so that's what we really wanted. The other ones really don't matter as much. And we have been accepted into a lot of distinguished degrees. Now we will enroll in university today, but we won't be able to start our first class until tomorrow, which is actually when we're going to be a young adult. So what I might do is just let her have her birthday naturally and not age her up with a cake because she's not the type of person that would have a party. So we will just spend as long as we can as a teenager. And not that it matters, but I'm going to take a computer science degree and only enroll in one class because what I really want is the esports career. And that makes you quit your side hustle, but that's okay. Maybe we'll take a quick afternoon nap. Okay, May is going to play Sim Scuffle with her team. Well, it's May's birthday, but I think I'm going to just let her age up tomorrow, or maybe we'll just have a cake by ourselves. It's almost time for our esports match. And she's promoted. Now, I think I have to reach level four of this career in order to get the esports gamer branch of the tech guru career. So we have two more levels to go. Now, for some reason, you can ask the property owner to inspect your hamper. Does that mean he's going to do laundry? And also, the sink is dirty. Maybe I can get him to clean the sink. It's probably just quicker to clean it myself. But May is a squeamish sim. She doesn't like cleaning. Okay, he didn't clean it. I don't think he'll do anything for the hamper, though. Oh, he is mopping. Yeah, it looks like he's trying to fix it, but you can't fix a hamper. And you didn't do anything to the sink and not even complete one of the upgrades. So I don't know what the point of inspection is. Oh no, my computer broke. I'll have to call someone to fix that. Oh, Christopher is here to fix it. Well, that's nice. Oh, he came in to fix the vacuum. Come on, why don't you fix my computer? Oh good, he's going to fix my computer too. Hopefully he doesn't get shocked though. Oh, and May aged up, so she is going to be a geek. I have to re-choose that because unfortunately, my More Traits and Kaz mod broke with the For Rent update. So what else can we pick? I'm going to get the business savvy trait. I'm, I don't care about the aspiration, but I just want to earn more from the careers. And lucky for us, that happened right as she was about to go to work. So she didn't get sent home in order to age up. Now that May is an adult, we need to start thinking about moving to the city. So we're not going to move in the middle of the night. We'll move on Thursday morning. May won the tournament. Huzzah! Water leak. Come on. There's, this place breaks down more than a place should. It looks like it should be in tip-top shape, but no. And now the washing machine is broken. Really? All right, it's going to cost us 500 simoleons to break our lease since it's the middle of the week, but that's okay. And of course, it's raining here in San Machuno. But here is the building that I built. It's actually two buildings because this lot was big enough to make two buildings. And if you make it all one big square, it just it just doesn't have enough window space. So I made a narrow alley in between the two buildings so that the units could have windows. And there are actually, I don't know, uh, 36 or 40 apartments. I can't remember exactly how many, but there's a lot of apartments here because there's four floors and each one has several units. I think there's four on each side. So that makes 16 on each floor and four floors so that's actually 64 apartments that's a lot of apartments now we're just going to customize maze a little bit because i don't 
really want her to have a TV. She turns it on too much and there's no noise in this apartment. So we're going to get rid of the TV in the stereo and put her computer in here and her streaming setup. I got her a loft bed instead of the regular bed on the floor and it's very cramped in here. But this is a small studio apartment and I thought it would be nice for her to start out in something like this because she doesn't have a lot of smolians. And then later on when we have a family we could move into a place that's a little bit nicer. So as our first step in our new place, we're going to make some coffee and order some Zoomers. Now this unit is actually owned by Quinn and Maria. So they decided to make a affordable living place so that people could come and live their lives and not have to pay a lot for a landlord. And so the place is run down but it's relatively clean. Oh look, it's the welcome wagon. I have these elevator doors installed. They really don't go anywhere, but it makes it quick to get up and down the floors because it is a four story building with a basement. Well, hello, Trevor Waterman. How are you? Are you doing very well today? And Yvonne Flegg? I don't even know how to say that. Oh, and Trevor is a geek? That's interesting. We have good compatibility then. Amazing compatibility, actually. And Trevor is single. Well, what a coincidence. Oh, and Trevor is an entertainer. He wants her to come by sometime and see him play his guitar at a club. But I don't know. That's just not May's thing. Maybe she'll like it. Aw, they gained a sentiment. May says, you make my day so much better. Thanks for making me smile. And May got promoted to level three teammate. Okay, third place. I seem to either win completely or just get third place. Now, May is a little tired, but Trevor has actually asked her to come see him after he's done at work. And he does the overnight shift over at Limelight because he's a very beginning entertainer. So we're going to go out, even though that's not May's thing, and we're going to go visit Trevor after we grab a cup of coffee. Okay, I've downloaded this lot off of the gallery, which is a remake of the lounge that was here before, at the Stargazer Lounge. And it's from O-N-Y-O-A, and I am not able to say that. So um, this is actually a pretty good lot. I love the way that they redesigned it and made it look like completely different than what the original was. And it's so elegant. So this is a little bit of a change for May. She's used to the small country town and then she went to Copperdale for a while. And even though Copperdale had a very large high school, she wasn't really going out to clubs or going out all the time or looking at places that were this luxurious and this much of a hustle and bustle star limelight factor. So it, it's a very big change for her to come out to a place like this. And the only reason why she's here is because she wants to talk to Trevor. So it is a little cold for swimming. Um, I know there's some swimming pools out here. Hopefully they do not get in them. Maybe we should just go sit at the bar and talk for a while. And I'm not sure which bar is going to have the person. Oh, there it is. It's out here on the porch. Okay, let's sit over here then. I hate how only one bar at the establishment will have a bartender and all of the other ones won't. Oh, it's love day. I did not expect that. Okay. Uh, well, we were just getting to know Trevor as friends. So, oh, Trevor's discovered that May is an alien and he's become good friends with us. Well, I guess if he doesn't mind, then that's a good thing. He's confident, which means he didn't mind that May was an alien. And a Ridgeport is May's favorite drink. Okay. I wonder if I order a drink for Trevor, what he will have. Ah, what did you do, May? Okay, I think she just empathized with him. I was hoping that she didn't erase his memory because she will sometimes randomly do that without me prompting her and that annoys me. Oh, he got a Ridgeport too. 
So they both like the same drink and look at them drinking in sync. Oh, they are just hitting it off. Okay, so maybe we could... Well, they are, they've already got a little flirty because I did impress him with my video game prowess just because I wanted to see his reaction since he was a geek and he is single. So maybe if we just do a little love day uh, thing, maybe he will turn out to be the guy for us. I don't know. Well, it is love day. We might as well just go on a date so that we can get the holiday completed. So you invited me out here, Trevor. Why don't we just make it a date? It's love day. Sometimes the stars just align. Describe robot invasion. <laughs> That's awesome. I love how that pops up because she's a geek. Oh, I think he needs to use the restroom. Okay, maybe we should cool it for a little bit. All right, do we have any coffee here? Well, she has another two hours until she needs one. Let's see if we can introduce ourselves to Thorn Bailey. I don't think that he will allow us to talk to him, but maybe. No, he's not interested in us. What about Jackie? No, our celebrities are not being friendly today. Okay, so May and Trevor are having their very first kiss in the bathroom. Because I could not get him to come out. He was talking to the talking toilet. Oh, and now he's telling me about the robot invasion. <laughs> These two are just right for each other. Oh, yes, May. I know you have no coffee. Let's give a Love Day gift of a rose. He likes it. Well, they got another sentiment. I really value the time we spend together. I think it's made us closer than ever. And we had a really... Oh, May starts class in an hour. But we had a really good date. We gotta go. Sorry. Bye, Trevor. <laughs> May was having so much fun, she completely forgot about her class. Now, May stayed up all night, so unfortunately, she's a little tired. What I might do is just drink a bunch of coffees and try and use that instead of sleep. Okay, it says my esports meeting starts in about an hour, but it didn't give me the option to go or not go. Maybe Friday is special? Is there like a, a tournament or something? Well, there's a soccer game at 6 p.m., but I'm not on the soccer team. I'm on the eSports team. Maybe there's an eSports match or something. Well, she didn't get promoted, but she's almost there. May's team lost their Sim Scuffle match. The event sponsors only handed out prizes to the winners, so May is leaving empty-handed. Better luck next time. Okay, well, that's all right. We just need to get level four. We have level three and the next promotion is captain. So once we get to level four in this career, we can actually quit and start the tech guru career at the level where we get to pick the esports branch and skip all the programming. Oh, finally, techie is in progress. It took a long time for that one to become in progress. And I also have people person in progress again. Well, and workaholic. Oh, wow. So I'm going to have to dump sedentary. For some reason, I got that one, maybe because she's always sitting around. So we'll go to lifestyle coaching again and get rid of it so that we have two open slots. Don't tell me you're going to try and multitask that with eating. No, eat first and then go to lifestyle coaching. For some reason, Sims like to try and eat and drink at the same time as using the computer. And yeah, I know you can do that, but if you're going to use the computer to go off lot to an event, no, you can't do that. <laughs> okay, now you can do it. Oh, there is a festival out here, but we're just not participating in these because it's just, I don't know, it's, it's kind of fun the first time you have city living, but it's kind of a waste of time after that. Oh, what's that, an earthquake? Yeah, I have earthquakes turned on in San Machino. I thought that would make sense. Let's just drink some coffee then. This place seems to be so much better behaved than the other one I was at. I don't know why, but things kept breaking down all the time. And they're not breaking down at all here. Oh, we actually do have work tonight. So this will hopefully get us the last level that we need and we can join the other career. What's great about this mod is they actually have a green screen and your character will just walk through it. Oh no, the coffee machine broke. 
we're just going to replace that. It's only 25 simoleons. The repair service will actually cost more. And I don't think you can ask someone to look at your coffee maker in your apartment. It won't count as an in-unit appliance, even though you can ask them to look at your laundry hamper for whatever reason. So this is May's setup. She actually has this green screen behind her and there yeah there's a little bit of a uh thing showing right here her dresser is showing a little bit but i think for the most part that's pretty realistic now we can actually put images on this green screen i just haven't bothered to do that yet yeah our media production skill is only level one i think we need to work on that more what's nice about the green screen is that when you're done with it you can actually put it in one of those i Kia chests or you can put it in your sims inventory and drag it back and forth from the lot into your inventory so it's like it's portable and you're just closing it rolling it up and putting it away Ashlyn got a horse um yeah we don't really care sorry we're not really an animal lover like our family is another thing I like about this mod is that they have these lights that you can turn on and customize just like the media station does and they have this microphone that allows you to practice speech but you can also use this little pad to view your video inventory and then you can record things using the Elgato control center on the computer instead of oh and there's another earthquake <laughs> Anyway, instead of having a completely separate media station, it's just so much more convenient because you can customize it and make it look really cool instead of that really ugly, well, it's futuristic. It's not really ugly. It's just that it, it's L-shaped and it's huge. And for Sims, you don't want a desk that big. If, if you're really doing something in real life, then yes, you want something that big. Um, someone's offering me a job as a social media career. Uh, no, no thank you. All right, we'll add transitions. And we also need to take a shower. I've called to inform you that your great, great, grand second once removed cousin's friend's grandpa has passed away and for some reason has left a vast fortune specifically to you. Will you accept? Well, considering... May's parents were orphans. I don't think that she would even know who her ancestors are. So this is really weird, but I'm going to say money, money, give me now because May is planning on getting married anyway. And we just have to get married to Trevor in the next seven days. Okay, the video is now worse than it was before, but that's okay. I got media skill by editing it and putting transitions in it. Why did you stop showering? And now May is a two-star celebrity. Oh, is she going to go downstairs in order to drink it? Yeah, that's the only bad part about having everything downstairs. Is unfortunately, it seems like your Sims sometimes prefer to use the community items versus the things in their own apartment. And I don't think that that should be the case. I had to get rid of the computers down here. I actually had computers on these desks. Like this was going to be a really low budget library for these people who lived in this building and I had low budget computers here they're the worst computers the cheapest ones and she kept coming down here to edit her videos even though I would click on the one upstairs and say edit the video up here she would go downstairs and use one of those computers unless I locked the door and I just don't want to bother with locking the door and unlocking it so I took away all the computers and put lumps of clay down there Trevor is asking me out on a date at the Benson's restaurant. Trevor, I really want to go, but my esports meeting is in an hour. Uh, if I go, I'm going to miss it because it's less than an hour. It's only 40 minutes. I'm going to say no thanks, but then when we get back, maybe we can go on a date. I only need to go to that meeting one more time. And then I can join the other career and drop out of university. So 
I really want to go today because there isn't one tomorrow. And you just called it the wrong time, Trevor. I'm sorry. And I'm going to be late now because I need to drink my coffee. Come on, take one sip. One sip and then you're going to your meeting. Hurry up. Okay, that's enough. Stop drinking it now. Go to your meeting. I, hopefully I make it. I shouldn't have tried to take that bath before I left. She's almost ready to get promoted anyway, but she might get docked for being late. And I don't know why I'm a workaholic because I don't even have... Oh, it says work hard and that's the default. It used to be normal. So I only had the option before to either work normal or to leave early. I didn't have the option to work hard, but now it seems like she's doing it by default. I don't know. These scholarships are actually a little bit tricky. Okay, so she got promoted. She's now captain, and now we don't need this job anymore. Now, what you do is once you reach level four of that career, you have to stay in the career and then find a job on the phone or the computer. And you should have the option to go to the eSport Gamer career. And having been on the starting lineup of a university team means this professional position is available immediately and will come with higher pay, easier promotions, and more vacation days. So yeah, we get to be a video game streamer as an eSports competitor. And you can make a whole lot more money this way than with that other side hustle thing that doesn't work and never gives you anything for tips. So that makes you quit your side hustle. Even though it is a part-time thing and you should be able to do both of them. And oh, and it completed her aspiration as well because being level five of the tech guru career and spending 100 hours on the computer was the only other thing that she had to do. So now we don't even need university. We're gonna drop out. I don't want an art history degree anyway. It was bugged and I had to restart and re-enroll her. And unfortunately, I accidentally got an art history degree for some reason after that instead of the computer science one. So we do not need that. All right, work is not until Monday morning. So we can invite Trevor out. Hopefully he's not mad at me. Yeah, Trevor, sorry before I was busy. I had to go to my meeting and get my last promotion, but do you want to go on a date now? Now, it doesn't make sense that he asked her to come here, which is in her old stomping ground versus staying in the city. But hey, we'll request a table. We'll socialize about meal. Oh, and I don't have the mod installed. So yeah, this could take a while. Oh, well, we could be here all night. Oh, seriously, this is facing the wrong way. Okay, so we actually got seated right away, and it says it's costing 50 simoleons, but I think that was part of the mod. Okay, so we're sitting outside. Where? Okay, she pointed at this table with the flowers, but we actually sat at the smaller table. Okay, I'm definitely getting coffee, and maybe Trevor wants a coffee too. And maybe we'll both get a steak dinner. It's kind of expensive, but hey, we'll go all out this time. Supposedly, I'm ordering for the table, but you know how this goes. So yeah, this is technically the end of the week. Maybe we'll almost finish this date before we're done. All right, I need my coffee. Someone bring me my coffee. Well, sir, thanks for kicking over the trash can. That was unnecessary. We should just go ahead and ask him to be our boyfriend. I mean, we are planning on getting married to him now that we have that get married for money buff. And May is loyal? Sure, that actually sounds like her. Are we ever going to get our food? I've been thinking about this a lot and wanted to ask if you'd like to live together. Um, sure, live in boyfriend? Why not? Hopefully this does not mess up my date. The only thing is that now we both live in that tiny little studio and I think we're going to have to move into his place because, okay, order for table is still there and wait for order to be delivered is there. This is not giving me much hope. Okay, at least they don't have work anytime soon. And the date is gold, so I'm not really sure that we should 
Wait, oh, there is that it? Is that our food? No, that is the other couple's food. Come on. When is my food going to get here? I see food over here. Is that mine? And uh, something happened. I think we lost a waiter or something. There's two chefs. I see the host right here. And we have, oh, maybe because the trash can was uh, broken. I don't know. It looks like everything is still here, even though it says it's not functional for some reason. Well, what is not functional is the fact that they're not delivering my food to me. Come on, there's something right there. D did all the waiters leave? I think they did. Well, this guy is still here, but he seems to be just cleaning up. What if we help him clean up? Will he be able to actually do what he's supposed to do? I heard a chick catch. <laughs> yeah, there's chicks over here. I still see this over here. Why? Why is this still over here? Someone come serve it to us. I don't think anyone is going to do it. Sorry, May, you didn't get your food. This The establishment is not as good as it should be. I should have left Carl's Mod installed, but I didn't really want to run a restaurant, so I didn't have it installed. And restaurants are just broken. You can't eat at them if you want to. They keep glitching out. Okay, I think we're going to call this a night. And this is Charity. Thanks for watching. <laughs>